Nu så ska vi gräva lite djupare i SVTs stora arkiv och vi har fått fram ett inslag med en av TVs tydligaste profiler som intervjuade mängder av svenska och internationella stjärnor. Som är här i premiärprogrammet av Jakob Stege i oktober 1985 när just Jakob Dahlin ställer frågor till Diana Ross. Diana, Diana, dina lockrop i nattens tjut. Din kropp är liten och späd, men det språk är den dominante mästarens. Du förför oss, du vaggar oss in i extasen, men du lovar oss absolut ingenting. I love you. Oh, that's really wonderful. You know... That's, that's wonderful. Thank you're, you. You're... You're beautiful and you're marvelous, and I think I'm the best audience you ever have. <laughs> and I don't know what it is, but tonight I felt we were 11,400 here. Yes. And you, you reach everyone. How do you achieve that contact? Um, I, I, all I know is um, that I think um, it's, it's, it's something is, is hard to explain. I always think to the last person in the last role, as if I could see their face. So I sing to, I sing that far. And also I, there's something about, uh, I'd like to see people, so I use the lights a lot in the room, because I always feel if I can see their faces, mm -hmm. I can perform to them. And I also kind of, by looking at people, it's somehow, um, you know, I'm able to, uh, talk to them through my eyes, mm. you know. I... You are a double-working, single mother of several children. Yes, three children. Yes. Um, isn't it hard for you to... Don't you feel uh, uh, guilty not being home with your children or br <laughs> bringing up your children? Uh, no, it's not. Uh, I do bring up my own children. Yeah. I raise my children and I, I organize my time. I, uh, if I can stay organized, um, if I can uh, keep my schedule, see, because it wouldn't be enough for me just to stay at home and raise no, my children. I need not. my life. Also, I have been given this very special gift that I would, it wouldn't be fair, really, for mm. me to hold that and not use it. You sure? Uh, yeah. I, I think I'm doing all right with raising my kids. I do leave them a lot, but somehow it's been good for them, not bad. Uh, they've been able to find their own identity mm. without being Diana Ross's children. Yeah. They have freedom that uh, I don't really have a guilt about my work. And um, it's really quite good, actually, uh, because I get a chance to do all the things I've ever dreamed about. I travel a lot. I like that. And my children go with me. And it's the only life they've ever known, so they don't feel it's not difficult for them. Mm. I don't see it that it's damaging them at the moment, and I don't no. know. You know, we won't know until they grow up. We'll just see. But it seems to be okay. One day, we'll all be gone, and how would you like to be remembered in the future? Um, very interesting question. It takes some time. Um, I mostly uh, uh, would like to be remembered through my children, I guess or uh, if I inspired anyone to do things with their lives. But I don't think, uh, I don't think people will remember the music itself, it would go on. Oh, they will. You think? Oh, they will, they sure will. <laughs>